Hey, what up, sluts? Follow me on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. On to the questions. So, first person is Kyle HDX. Do you follow any sports? Um, I actually follow hockey a little bit, uh, mostly only during the playoffs. I really am not a big sports guy, though. Uh, I've tried to watch baseball because I live in St. Louis, uh, home of the Cardinals, and they're a really, really big, popular MLB team, and everybody seems to fawn over them. And so I've tried to get into baseball, but it's just too goddamn boring. Um, football would be fun if they didn't take like a two-minute break in between every 15 seconds of action. So that's pretty aggravating, and uh, it's just it's just annoying to me. You know, I don't even like going to the games very much unless it's a hockey game, just because then. I have enough, enough knowledge of the sport to know what's going on because I played hockey for so long. So, uh, yeah, hockey's the only sport that I follow even a little bit. Um, Mitchell Wood 4, what is your least favorite book? Uh, that's a really interesting question. I don't really rank books. I, I couldn't even tell you my 100% favorite book, not nonetheless my least favorite book. But uh, I guess I'll say uh, Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. I read uh, bits and pieces of that, and it was just the most ridiculous attempt to justify a selfish lifestyle by, you know, just propagating elitism. And she was just, you know, ridiculous, terrible, terrible philosopher. She basically just stole um, Nietzsche's ideas and then tried to, you know, make it, her own, but she did it in a very poor way and with economics, no less. And it was just really frustrating and stupid, and uh, I hated it, and it was just it just reeked of arrogance. So that would be my least favorite book, but I'm sure there are a lot more, you know. Um, America Forever 2. What is your take on professional athletes, and should they be paid as much as they are? Um, no, they absolutely should not get paid as much as they are. It's disgusting that people are freaking homeless. We have thousands of homeless men and women across this great nation of ours, and then meanwhile, people are getting paid millions and millions, sometimes dozens of millions of dollars a year, because they can throw a ball real good. It's like, Jesus Christ, what, what are the priorities? What does that say about our society, where we give these people and we laud them and say they're wonderful just because they can do the same muscle memory motion over and over and over for years, and it's just, it's not impressive. It's not. If there was some magical way to make every single professional athlete in the world be paid $80,000 a year, Year, just across the board, 80000 a year. That's more than enough for them. That's a lot of money to play a game that you're supposed to enjoy. Hell, even 100000 Let's say they all get paid 100000 That's already too much, in my opinion, for them to make. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, when it comes down to it, I guess this could be because I'm not a big sports fan. I don't find their abilities that impressive. You know, even hockey, a sport that I played, the best hockey player of all time does not deserve to get paid $5 million a year or even $1 million a year. And the best baseball player ever does not deserve to get paid half a million dollars a year. Uh, you know, it's just ridiculous that people give them so much credence for these abilities that really are just not that important. So uh, that's my take. And professional athletes, I can't really tell you my take on them personally, aside from the payment, just because I don't know that many. But I met quite a few professional hockey players through – uh, the teams I played on, and they were all pretty cool guys, you know. Nothing bad to say about them from a personality standpoint. Uh, Freddy Ferocious, your view on today's music, uh, it sucks butthole. Podge, Ray Z-Z-E-E-R. Pi, why the hell did I take the time to read out your name when I could clearly read that you had no subject matter under it? Why the hell? Well, I will talk about pie a little bit. Let's not waste time. I'm um, not a big fan of, like, cherry or pumpkin pie or things like that. I don't know why. I've just never really been into it. Maybe it's a texture thing for me. Uh, I, I know the reason I don't like cherry pie and stuff like that is because it's so, like, blueberry or blueberry pie, cherry pie. It's so liquidy and, like, molten on the middle, and I don't like that. I want something solid. I want some cake. Give me some goddamn cake. But I will eat chocolate pie because that's basically just pudding with a sweet, you know, bread around it, and it's really good, so thank you for giving me what turned out to be a decent topic. Uh, okay. Why did then bleach? VidCon. Talk about how you don't care about it. Um, I didn't even know that VidCon was happening, which apparently is something where YouTubers get together. Uh, I didn't even know anything of, about it at all until I saw some tweets from Woody and T-Mart, because I think they're there. Or I, I think at least T-Mart's there, maybe not Woody. Um, but yeah, I don't really care about it. I think it would have been cool. I'm not saying that like, oh, I'm, I'm better than all those other people on YouTube, because I'm not. Most of them make videos that far, far surpass the quality of mine. Because uh, what I do really isn't that difficult. I just talk. It's simple. It's fun. It's easy for me. Uh, but I don't care about it just because I don't take this seriously enough to be going around and traveling. I'd much rather just spend this time with my family and friends here in St. Louis and just have a good time and be just, you know, partying it up every night, having a, having a blast! Matt Harris, 96. Opinion on trolling. Um, 
you know, I'm fine with it. As long as it's on the internet and as long as nobody's getting actually hurt. There's a distinct difference between internet trolling where you're just being a cock for no reason and, uh, you know, in real life, like, tripping someone down the stairs, like, <laughs> trolled the shit out of you, brah! You trolled now! And then just, like, you know, because I've heard, like, real-life people be like, oh, yeah, you trolling me? You trolling me? And most of the time, it's just completely out of context and it makes no sense. And I don't know why the word itself irritates me, just because it does. it's a bad, you know, word. Not, like, a bad word, like, ooh, shit, piss fuck, you know, like, it's a bad word, like, it's stupid, I, it bothers me, the same way, like, you'll hear some people say, some of my, uh, my younger brother's friends say they're scrapping or they're trapping, like, they'll say, like, they're trapping if it's a good thing, or they're scrapping if it's, like, a bad thing, like, oh, he's scrapping right now, or oh, he's trapping, I just want to be, like, I just want to smack every one of them in the face with a ball-peen hammer and say, that doesn't make any sense, you are retarded, you are an idiot, stop saying it like that, you sound moronic, so, uh, hopefully one of them listens to this video and straightens his life out. Um, topic, what was the most badass thing you have ever done? I don't know. Not a very badass guy. You know, I'm not going around and starting bar fights and whatnot. Um, huh. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that, and I'm actually going to save that, put that question in my pocket for another day, and think about an actual video topic I could do on it, because I'm sure if I thought of the story, of a story now, I could extrapolate it out and make a full video out of it. Um, so, thank you. And that was from Gamescast Live. 7RO11. What is the best game you've ever played? Uh, I've said this before many times. Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue are the best video games objectively. You don't even have to put in your opinion here. So if you wanted to comment about your favorite games in the comment section, if you have any choice other than this, I regret to inform you that you're incorrect. So you can go, you know, redeem your second place prize on my on my channel, which would just give me another view. So that was kind of a trick. But uh, yeah, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, best ever. You're wrong. Um... Same guy with all those crazy letters in his name. Why do Americans not like soccer? Um, I don't really know. It's just it's not popular here. Nobody really gives a shit about it. I really just think it's because it doesn't have as much violence as the sports that we like here. We like hockey. We like football. Uh, I guess we love baseball, and baseball is even more boring than soccer. Uh, but I don't know. I, I don't know why. I don't like any sports that much, so I am not qualified to answer that. Um, C. Goodson, worst college experience so far. I wish I could answer that, but all my answers would be like, oh, yeah, probably my worst ever thing was I stayed up all night, first semester, sophomore year, and uh, I, was, I stayed up all night studying for this uh, economics exam. I didn't think I was going to do very well, so I was just pounding out all the knowledge, just like ferociously studying up until like five in the morning. Uh, it was probably like four in the morning that I stopped studying because I'd been studying for like 14 hours at that point and just drilling my brain, wasn't even eating, probably took an Adderall or some shit that day to make sure I'd be focused as hell and uh, hadn't seen anyone that day, was completely sequestered away in my room, uh, or in my apartment rather, and... Uh, Lo and behold, I fall asleep at like 4 after setting 5 or 6 alarms on my iPhone. And the way the old iPhone uh, 4 or iPhone 3, whatever the hell it was, used to work is that if you got a call or text before your alarms went off, sometimes it would like turn off the alarms, which is a terrible design flaw. Uh, I don't know why it would do that. Maybe that was just mine. But I ended up waking up at like 10.30 and the exam started at 8 and ended at like 9.30 or something. And so I just straight up overslept the exam, thought I was going to fail the class, just destroy my GPA because I wouldn't have been able to drop it. But uh turns out that I went to the uh, the guy's office, and he has two different classes of the same class. And I went in and pretended like I was in the class that I was going to take the exam later in the day, even though I had slept over it. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to drop the class. And he's like, are you sure? You're, you have like a decent enough grade that you'll be fine. I'm like, no, I'm dropping the class. I'm going to try again for a better grade next semester. He's like, all right, all right. And so he signed off on it, which is great, because had he known that I failed that test, he, I wouldn't have been able to drop it because I would have been in the flunking range. So that was a nice little bit of deceit, but uh, I'm already over, over time for the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a rating. If you didn't, yell at me angrily and tell me I suck. I love you.